Hare Krishna devotees, please accept my humble obeisances. All glory to Srila Prabhupada. We welcome devotees to morning Bhagavatam class on the suspicious day of uh, Diwali. And uh, we will be uh, studying from Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 1, Chapter 8, Verse 26. And we are getting into the prayers by Queen Kunti. And the chapter is entitled Praise by Queen Kunti and Pariksha Save. And we are very fortunate and blessed to have His Holiness Chandramali Swami with us this morning. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to you. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Hey, and it's all yours, Maharaj. Obeisances to all the devotees and my uh, thanks for Anasuya for conducting such a interesting program day after day. Thank you so much, Maharaj. So, Srimad Bhagavatam 1.826. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Janmasya Janmaiswarya Sruta Sri Bihir Ekamaram Madapuman Naivarhatya Vida Tumbai Tomakinchana Gocharam. Translation My Lord. Your Lordship can easily be approached, but only by those who are materially exhausted. One who is on the path, material progress, trying to improve himself with respectable parentage, great opulence, high education, and bodily beauty, cannot approach you with sincere feelings. So this is spoken by Queen Kunti, glorifying Sri Krishna, he's personally present listening to his aunt speak these words, prayers. <clears throat> Report, being materially advanced means taking birth in an aristocratic family and progressing and possessing great wealth and education and attractive personal beauty. All materialistic men are mad after possessing all these material opulences. And this is known as the advancement of material civilization. But the result is that by possessing all of these material assets, one becomes artificially puffed up, intoxicated by such temporary possessions. Consequently, such materially puffed up persons are incapable of uttering the holy name of the Lord by addressing him feelingly. O Govinda, O Krishna, it is said in the Shastras that by once uttering the holy name of the Lord, the sinner gets rid of a quantity of sins that he is unable to commit. Such is the power of uttering the holy name of the Lord. There's not the least exaggeration in this statement. Actually, the Lord's holy name has such powerful potency. But there is quality to such utterance also. It depends on the quality of feeling. A helpless man can feelingly utter the holy name of the Lord, whereas a man who utters the same holy name in great material satisfaction cannot be so sincere. A materially puffed up person may utter the holy name of the Lord occasionally, but he is incapable of uttering the name in quality. Therefore, the four principles of material advancement, namely high parentage, good wealth, high education, attractive beauty are, so to speak, disqualifications for progress on the path of spiritual advancement. Material covering of the pure spirit soul is an external feature as much as fever is an ex external feature of the unhealthy body. The general process is to decrease the degree of the fever and not to aggravate it by maltreatment. Sometimes it is seen that spiritually advanced persons become materially impoverished. This is no discouragement. On the other hand, such empowerment, impo impoverishment is a good sign as much as the falling of temperature is a good sign. The principle of life should be decreased the degree of material intoxication, which leads one to be more and more illusioned about the aim of life. 
grossly illusions persons are quite unfit for entrance into the kingdom of God. Grossly illusions persons are quite unfit for entrance in the kingdom of God. Omagyan timidandasyan genajana salakaya chaksun militam yena tasmai shri gudavena maha shri chaitanya manomistam stapitam yena butale swayam rupa kadam mayam dadati swam kadati kam namam vishnu padaya krishna prasthaya butale shri makti bhakti vedanta swam yuti namane Namaste Saraswati Deve, Gauravani Pacharine, Yerase Sasunya Vadi, Pasyatya De Satarine. Vanchakalpa, Tarubis Cha, Kripa Sindhu, Pe Eva Cha, Vatitana, Pavane Bio, Vaishnave Bio, Namahona Maha. Jai Sri Krishna, Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda. Shri Advaita Gandhada Rasi Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vinda. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hmm. So the pursuit of material success is described here. <clears throat> uh, good wealth, high parentage, in other words, successful materialistic parents, high education, attractive bodily beauty. The whole material world is shooting for these this different things, <clears throat> which brings them some position, some fame, some uh, uh, situation where they can control the material energy in a greater extensive area. You know, I have, I have a house in Florida. I should have a house in California. I should have cars in both places. I don't need to drive. I could just fly and I have everything there. And then I have a place in Bermuda and also in uh, <clears throat> in Malta, so many places I have everywhere around. And I can go anywhere, I can do anything. I can buy anything, I can buy anybody. <clears throat> you know, the dreams of the materialistic persons who have some success, they're always thinking how to increase it more and more. So here, this is, um, because they are kinchira, kinchira gochira, not akinchira. Uh, akinchira means akinchira means without any material possessions or material pursuits. That qualifies one to approach the supreme personality of Godhead. Um, and Krishna. He helps his devotee who may have some desire to gain these things here, being known. Lord Chaitanya gives the formula Nadanam, Najanam, Nasundaram, Kavitam, Vajagadisha, Kamuye, Manmajandani. He says, Nadanam, I don't want wealth. Najanam, I'm not looking for followers. Nasundarim, I'm not looking for a beautiful, attractive wife and girlfriend. Nadjanam Nasundarim also means I don't want to be known as a great orator of the Vedic literatures. All of these are included in Lord Chaitanya's prayers, just as what does he want? Janmani, Janmani, Ishvare, Bhavatad Bhakti. I want unalloyed devotional service to your lotus feet. Life after life, it doesn't matter where I am. Is that just some nice eulogy to make everyone think of the glories of devotional service? No, it's not. It's actually the reality of one's experience 
when one is absorbed in, in devotional service, chanting the holy names of the Lord, these other things, we have the example of, of uh, Jamunacharya, Prabhupada quotes him. Many times he made one verse. Jamunacharya was an interesting person. Um, when he was a young boy, he uh, was uh, quite intelligent and he would debate so he was debating different people. So one king and one queen, they were husband and wife, they arranged for a debate between him and this very expert uh, debater. He was known as a great debater who was, had defeated so many other people. So Jamunacharya, was asked, he was only 12 years old at the time. The king and queen arranged for this debate. And if he would win, he would get half of their kingdom. It didn't look like he would have any chance against this debater, but he was so intelligent how he conducted the debate that he kept asking questions to, the, uh, to his opponent and his opponent could not answer the questions. He would say, your mother is barren. Defeat that. And so how could he, the proof is that he's there. So the man said, my mother is not barren. I am here. I am her son. And Jamunacharya said, no, the scriptures say that if a, ma a, wa a woman has one child, she is considered barren. So he defeated him on that level. And then he said, The king and the queen are there now. The next thing he said was, the king, he, um, he has so many, uh, let's see. Uh, the queen has, the queen is, the queen is, not chaste, the, the queen is chaste. So prove that the queen is not chaste. That was his thing. So the queen is sitting there, she's blushing. And uh, he's thinking the queen is not chaste. I have to prove that I have to prove that she's not chaste. If he said the queen is chaste, you prove she's not chaste. And so he, he became insulted by the question. He said, you answer the question. And Jamunacharya said, well, we understand that the king is the embodiment of all the demigods. And so therefore she has so many husbands. <laughs> so he, he defeated him on Aleppo. And then he had another question regarding to, to the king. The king is... Uh, uh, I forgot that one, the last one. And then he couldn't defeat that. And then Jamunacharya defeated that. And then the cry came from the audience, Alabandu, Alabandu means he's the conqueror. He's the conqueror. So this man was defeated and the king and queen gave them half their kingdom. Now he became a king. He was such a, now he became a king. He was just a young boy. And he had a half of the kingdom to rule. And then his life changed. He started to engage in all kinds of kingly pursuits. And he was becoming very licentious. He was becoming very much interested in royal happiness. And all of his learning was being put aside and now he became something else. 
So one of his students could see that their, their spiritual master was heading in the wrong direction. So every day, the king, uh, Jamulacharya, would arrange for his assistant to go to the market and buy vegetables and arrange that for cooking for his lunch. So this was going on. So his, uh, one of his disciples was watching this. So one day when the uh, assistant came to the market to buy vegetables, this uh, disciple said, I have this very nice vegetable for the king. Take it and cook it for him. He will like it very much. And so uh, this vegetable was very special vegetable. Anyone who would eat it for a long time, their mind would become peaceful. <laughs> so he gave it to this uh, assistant servant and he brought it and he cooked it and the king liked it. Jamunacharya liked it very much. He said, bring that vegetable every day. So every day he was beating this disciple and he was giving him the vegetable. So this went on for a long time. So one day the disciple didn't show up purposely and the, the assistant couldn't get the vegetable. So when he, he prepared the lunch, the vegetable wasn't there. So Jamunacharya said, hmm, where is that vegetable? Oh, he said, well, the man who comes and gives it to me every day didn't show up today. What man? Who is that man? Bring him to me. Well, the next day he went and he found him and he brought him and it was his disciple. He hadn't seen him in a long time. And at that time after the king had been eating that vegetable so, so long, his mind became a little bit peaceful. And then his disciples started to preach to him. Oh, my dear guru, you used to be such a wonderful guru, so chaste, so intelligent. Now look at you, you've become a debauch. He was preaching to his guru. <laughs> and then Jamunacharya actually, because he had become a little bit peaceful from eating that vegetable, he started to understand what his disciples were saying was the best advice. He gave up everything, gave up his kingdom, and became a great, great personality. And later on, he became the spiritual master of the famous Ramanujacharya. And Jumulacharya was the spiritual master of Ramanujacharya. So later on, after he had again, again gained his status as a great spiritual personality, he chants one particular verse that Prabhupada quotes occasionally that when I think of material happiness in the form of sex life, my lips curl in disgust and I spite upon it, as Prabhupada said. And Prabhupada would quote and say, just see, here's a man, personality, and he was a king, he was enjoying so much sensual enjoyment. Now, after becoming fully his Krishna conscious, he sees this as simply poison. And when he thinks about it, he becomes disgusted. So we see that the taste that one gets from devotional service cannot compare to anything material, even the highest form of material happiness, as is described here, high parentage coming from a very wealthy and very prestigious family. Good wealth, riches, high education, respected by many, attractive beauty, the sinosaur of many persons. So we see these things have no regard for those who are, as it says here, Prabhupada goes on to describe the, what is that? The chanting of the holy names of the Lord. The chanting of the holy names of the Lord. So the chanting of the holy names of the Lord actually transforms one's consciousness where nadanam lajanam nasundaram kavitam vajagadisha kamoye. One becomes uninterested in all of these things. Sometimes devotees get a little bit fearful boy, if I become too Krishna conscious, then 
what will happen to my material life? What will I do? How will I maintain my family? How will I, you know, go to work? How will I, you know, go, go for vacations? Do I have to give up my favorite TV program? So sometimes devotees get a little overwhelmed and they think, I can't make too much spiritual advancement because I know it's dangerous for my material life. The material life simply means, I was just listening to Srila Prabhupada speaking now. He's talking about Kali Yuga and the horrors of Kali Yuga. And after describing them in, in detail, he says, and it will only get worse. He says, this age of Kali Yuga, things will only get worse. And so he was, he was cautioning the devotees, please don't waste this life. Finish up in this world life and go back home, back to Godhead. Otherwise, if you come back again, as Srila Prabhupada said, you'll have to suffer more and more and more. So here, this is a very interesting explanation here that those who are materially impoverished are in a good position to be spiritually wealthy because they don't have anything to fall back on, only Krishna. <laughs> Only Krishna. That's why sometimes Krishna will arrange for a devotee to maybe to get ill health or to lose his fortune or to lose some material part of their life that they are very much attached to. So they become more and more helpless and more dependent on Krishna. Not in order to get these things back, but to somehow or other find the happiness that they're looking for, that they thought they had when they had all of these material arrangements. So as Prabhupada says, material life is like intoxication. It is causes illusion because the living entity is different than the body. And all of these, uh, what we say, success in life are all related to the body. The body is temporary and the body is ultimately will, is always causing us difficulty in different ways. Even if we have a lot of good material arrangements, still the body is always causing difficulty. So devotees, they are aware that, yes, let me simply engage in devotional service, chant the holy names of the Lord. If Krishna gives me something material, I can use it in his service, or I can use it to maintain myself so I can serve nicely. Otherwise, I'm not so interested in trying to increase, as they say, the path of material uh, advancement. It's like trying to increase the fever. So as these, as now you might also say, well, does that mean people who have a lot materially they can't become Krishna conscious? No, but it's harder. <laughs> it's much harder because there is a type of intoxication that comes with good material arrangements and good material benefits that one has, may or may not even be so clear, but it's there in a subtle form so the more, the more we uh, detach ourselves for everything material, the more it becomes easier to chant the holy names of the Lord and to engage in devotional service in a more natural way. And Krishna is very merciful like that. So Queen Kunti's prayers are very powerful. He said, she says, but only those who are material exhausted, getting rid of all of these things, and only those who are only, but only those who are material exhausted, not the ones on the path of material progress, they can approach you with sincere feeling. Queen Kunti, she's she's aristocratic, she has wealth. She has good families, not only one family, she has two families, husband's family and, and father's family. 
she is uh, quite respectable, but what does she pray? Tatra Tatra Jagat Guru. She's praying, my dear Lord, take all these things away. Give me some suffering. That way we can approach you with real sincere feeling. Of course, we may not like that, but we should not be thinking while we're making spiritual pro uh, execution devotional services, I'm still trying to improve my material situation. Uh, material situation cannot be improved. The karma that we get from whatever material things we have is, is already fixed. And whatever you have does not guarantee you any good karma. Even the best material situation can bring the most horrible material results. Sometimes we see that and there are examples where people who have won the lottery in America and won millions of dollars, and later on in their life, and this is a statistic that they've shown after following up on these families to see what happened after they got all this wealth, many of them, took to intoxication. Many of them, their relatives and friends did different things to try to get the money from them. Their lives generally went down rather than improving as they were thinking. So yeah, material benefits are not uh, benefits. <laughs> they, uh, the best they are is they can be used in devotional service otherwise. They can be, they will be, as it's mentioned here, uh, uh, causing greater material intoxication, which increases the illusion of life more and more. As Prabhupada says, one who is illusioned about material, about life, thinking material life has some value, they're unfit to enter into the kingdom of God. Okay, so this is a very powerful verse. It's one of the more powerful verses in, uh, in this series of prayers by Sri by Queen Kunti. So we can uh, stop there. This is a very powerful verse, Mark. That is so true, Mark. Thank you so much for um, enlightening us with this wonderful, amazing verse. If there are any questions from devotees, um, as Mark said, this is a very powerful verse and a very powerful prayer by Queen Kunti, too. Um, we do request devotees, please, if you have a question, do raise your hand or um, you can unmute yourself and jump right in to ask a question. I'm trying to go down the list here to see if there are any hands raised or questions. Marge, um, I have a question, Marge, and I'm looking for, and where is that was? Okay, yeah, I, it's, in the, it's, it's in the verse itself in the translation where your prophet said, your lordship can easily be approached by only those who are materially exhausted. And Marge, I have come across situations where even when one is materially exhausted, they're not aware or we're not aware that we're materially exhausted and yet we go after the material stuff. It's yeah, like, uh, yeah and, and they still try to pursue their material desires despite the fact that they, that they cannot gain anything materially is still attracted by the glitter of material life. They think I have failed in the past, but I won't fail in the future. Or that's all they know. The whole world is chasing these things and the whole propaganda within society is this is the success in life. You see, 
advertising in the form of the various medias. There's so many different medias that they use for advertising. Simply to and try to inspire people to go in that direction, buy more, work harder to get more money so you can spend more and have more material things. Yeah. But that statement, when one realize when one doesn't one has doesn't have anything to lean back on, then it becomes more easily to approach the Supreme Lord. And the example is given also in the second canto of the Srimad Bhagavatam, where it's described that if one has a crown on their head and they're drowning in the water then that crown makes them go down faster. <laughs> so yeah, so the more material opulence that one is attached to and pursuing, the more entangled they are in material life. And those who don't have it, they want it. Those those who have it can some, um, sometimes understand that I'm not happy. And those who don't have it, they think, oh, these people are happy. They got all these things. I should figure out how, how I can get these things too. And sometimes people even commit crimes to do it. They steal from others. They kill, they kill other people just for money or for some kind of material situation. Nations declare war against other nations so they can get the resources of that other nation. It's a disease, material attachments, when they're exasperated, turns into a very horrible disease. So occasionally Krishna will do a little mercy to his devotees, take something away from them, put them in a helpless condition, cause them to call out for him with more feeling. Thank you, Maharaj. Yeah, thank you. That was really, really helpful. Thank you. Are there questions from devotees? I think they must be all thinking of a question. It's a very powerful verse. Hare Krishna Mataji, Hare Krishna Prabhuji. It was a wonderful class. Thank you so much. Uh, Prabhuji, I have a question which I have witnessed with my this thing. A devotee, a Krishna consciousness devotee, you know, he was like in so much of trouble that and he was practicing Krishna consciousness for the last, I think, 10, 15 years. And their family had undergone so much of troubles personally. I mean, somebody was uh, like, you know, sick and then uh, finally they passed away and all those stuff, a lot of troubles, no, not only financially, but losing the family actually. So now their trust on Krishna, I mean, who was practicing Krishna consciousness for so many years has shattered to such a extent that since, since I think last almost two to three years, they have stopped at all, whatever they were practicing. I mean, so why is that? I mean, like, was they not ready for that? Or, uh, I mean, like, when that much of distress has come to their lives? Well... First of it's all, we don't. Ask to the question what uh, Mataji has asked. First of all, we don't really can't really make any judgments, a clear ju clear explanation on that because we don't know to what level they're practicing Krishna consciousness. You know, they're also they also might be practicing Krishna consciousness to get to get material gain, and it's kind of indicative that they. When everything was lost, they gave up Krishna. They really didn't understand what Krishna consciousness was. 
And there are people, because it's Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, four types of people approach me. Those who are in distress, those who are in need of wealth, those who are inquisitive, and those who are seeking knowledge of the absolute truth. So people come to Krishna and sometimes to improve their material situations. That also could be there. I'm not saying it is there, but that is one of the reasons. That's why we can't really give a clear understanding unless we know more about the family, their history, and you know what is their practice like that? What are the activities along with their devotional service? But the, the, the problem is, is that when they lost things, whoever was left in the family was in a good position to really make spiritual advancement. And if you look at it another way, everything we have will be lost anyway in due course of time. The body we have, our health, our money, our relatives and friends, everything will be lost. That's all. That's just a matter. Sometimes people get it quickly, and sometimes people get it um, as they go on in life. So you can't keep anything in this world. But if we use these uh, apparent uh, uh, losses, material losses, as ways to, as it says here, one one can approach you with with great feeling. When one has more feeling that, my dear Lord, there's nothing left. <laughs> it's only you. And then Krishna is smiling. And obviously they don't understand, they didn't understand the benefit of spiritual life because spiritual life means eternal happiness in full knowledge in the relationship to the Supreme Personality of Godhead in the spiritual world. No one can estimate that in comparison to everything, anything material. So the fact that they gave up Krishna consciousness, or some member, family members did, we might say that they were practicing Krishna consciousness in order to improve their material situation. I've seen that also with other people too. When people approach the Lord, I saw there was one there was one situation in uh, in London where one very respectable lady um, and she had a child who was going to I think it was college or high school I'm not sure and he had ten subject matters he had ten subject matters so she comes in front of the deities. And she prays in front of the deities, my dear Lord, please get, allow my son to get straight A's in all 10 subjects. Okay? So she's praying for the, her son to get the best marks in all of the subjects he has. So the boy got nine A's. He didn't get 10. The lady was unhappy. She came back before the Lord. My dear Lord, I prayed for 10 and he only gave nine. Now, this is a true story. It was related to me by the people who were involved in this. So, yeah, there are many who approach the Supreme Personality of Godhead and engage in devotional service in order to uh, improve their material life. And when their material life is improving, their enthusiasm for devotional service increases. And when, they're, when their material life is going down, they find fault with Krishna, they blame Krishna. They think Krishna is not there. Prabhupada gives the example in World War II, when the uh, war was going on between Germany and, and England, uh, the, uh, the women, the uh, husband, the wives, the sisters, the uh, daughters of the soldiers, they all went to the churches and prayed, please bring my husband back, please bring my, my son back, please bring my father back. 
they were all playing like that. And then when they didn't come back, Prabhupada said, they gave up God. <laughs> they gave up God. So people approach the Lord for bettering their material. Um, they, they, they're a little pious, but their piety centers around material advancement. Using spiritual practice for material advancement. And it's indicative when material advancement is not there or when material loss is there, they give up God. They think God should be uh, one to support their material life or give them better material situations. And this is very common. People go to our temples and we can see they pray for something material. Because they think that is the that is the purpose of spiritual life to get a better material situation. But some of the greatest of all saints, you know, had nothing, but they were happy. They were wealthy. They were. They had everything. In the senses that they actually had the shelter, full shelter and devotion to Krishna. That is the greatest wealth. I hope that helped Anulika. Yes, Hare Krishna Prabhuji, thank you for answering very well. One more question I have in uh, relation to this. So what is the right way Prabhuji, like, you know, when we go to the temple, if suppose we have some problem, we don't want materially advanced, but yes, if we have some problem in life, so should we share it with the Lord and ask to solve it? Or we should just pray and do what our daily uh, routine is like, you know, whatever we are doing in spiritually advancement, or should we ask or even not even ask sometimes you know our mind is like you know when we are sitting in front of the god so whatever trouble we are facing or whatever we wanted to share it with the lord so that we can come out of it so is it right or wrong to have that uh, well depends how you pray if you're praying for the lord to uh, rectify your material situation that is um, you know that's business you're approaching the Lord as a businessman. I give you my prayers and you give me the results of, the, of my prayers. That's not how we approach the Lord. We approach the Lord asking him what we can do for him. So there was just recently, I just received this just yesterday. Somebody was telling me about a person that's very dear to them that became very, very sick. And she wants to pray for this person. So I said, fine, but I use that there is a way to pray for them. And I explained to her that you should say that you want the, this, this person to be cured only if the Lord approves. My dear Lord, please cure my friend. Only my dear Lord, if you so desire, please cure my friend. Prabhupada taught us to pray like that when Prabhupada was sick also. He said, don't pray for my health pray that the lord is my dear please cure my spiritual master if you so desire so we leave it up to the lord we don't ask. and then the same person was telling me that the person who was sick he doesn't want to go in front of the lord he doesn't want to ask the lord he said the lord knows everything about me I don't want to go in front of the Lord and pray for something about me. I simply want to worship the Lord in devotion. That's all. So this was interesting. How he was seeing his situation is not something to bother the Lord by. If the Lord wants to cure me, fine. If he doesn't, that's, his, that's up to him. So um, that's devotion, not that and the majority of the people in the world approach God for something material. That is the modern day religion. Give us our daily bread. Give us this, my dear Lord. Give me this. Give me that. Day he day he day he day he day. The list goes on and on and on. And uh, 
sometimes people get their material thing, but they don't get Krishna. And therefore, they're cheating themselves. One who has Krishna has everything and more. So, yeah, that's not to approach the Lord for something material is not the way to approach. But Prabhupada would say that he would he would also sometimes say, well, at least they're pious, they're going to the Lord for something material. But that doesn't mean you you will get whatever you want, or you definitely will not get the Lord, that's for sure. Because they, they're not asking for the Lord, they're not asking for a devotion to the Lord, they're not asking for you know the association of advanced devotees, they're not asking for those things that they can make spiritual advancement from. They're asking for something to improve their material life or to rectify some anomaly in their material life. And so uh, it's, it's business, that's all. If we want to be serious about devotional service, we may, just like recently I was sick and I was undergoing some strong difficulty. But in that difficulty, I, I was finding more opportunities to uh, call out to the Lord. <laughs> So it was an opportunity. I, mean, I, I was playing more kirtans. I was offering more prayers. Not so much to get my, my situation rectified, but to somehow or other get the strength to tolerate it so I could go on in my devotional service. So we have to, we have to see that devotional service is very rare and very precious. Very few have been granted devotional service. Even those who are performing devotional service, they're not really in that energy until they start to understand that the goal of devotional service is to develop love for Krishna. That is the goal. So if you want to share your hardships with the Lord, that's nice, but don't ask him for anything <laughs> material. <laughs> ask him for devotional service. Thank you so much, Prabhuji. You have answered and explained very clearly. All the doubts are absolutely vanished. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Maharaj. Are there other questions from devotees? This is a very nice class. And, and what is so nice, Maharaj, is that, you know, this topic is being discussed on the day of Diwali, where, the, where Lord Ram returns, um, uh, uh, when Lord Ram returns from exile, and he has given up everything for 14 years. So this is a very nice, uh, I, I think, uh, you know, a, a coincidence that we are discussing such a powerful topic on this wonderful day. So, um, yes, please do let the questions roll in. Are there other, other questions, um, you know, clarification, any doubts that you would like to ask Maharaj? It's a very, very nice time to do that. Going down the list so that I don't miss anyone. Okay, um, I hope I'm still audible because my yeah, we can hear you. We can we, hear you. We can. Okay, thank you. It's kind of weird, my PC. Marge, I have one more question, Marge, is that um, Shuprapad was mentioning somewhere, uh, spiritually advanced persons become materially impoverished, and this is no discouragement. And we have seen, Marj, that when it comes to, you know, when, when, when preaching, right, people say, oh, you Krishna devotees, <laughs> Krishna takes everything from you guys. When you worship Lord Shiva, you're always being blessed. And how can we use this, Marj, in, in preaching or helping or cultivating devotees? Because they have a very 
uh, interesting or negative view oh when you surrender to the law he takes everything from you. uh well not necessarily Prabhupada said and he talks about himself and he quotes this verse from the 10th canto 88th chapter that if krishna favors you he gives you everything and if he real and if he really favors you he takes everything away so you can look at that verse uh, i forgot do you so, want me to go there now Maharaj? i can't remember the sanskrit it's, it's in the 88th chapter uh, of the 10th canto um, Prabhupada talks about it in relationship to himself. Let's see, let's see the verses. Keep going down. Okay. Okay, number eight. That's, it's, ver it's verse number eight. Three, yes, Yaham. Ananu grami harishita denam sinai tato danam tutat yasya swajana dukha dukitam. The personality of God had said, If I especially favor some, someone, I gradually deprive him of his wealth. Then the relatives and friends of such a poverty stricken man abandon him. In this way, he suffers one distress after another. <laughs> If I especially favor someone. <laughs> okay, read read the purport. <laughs> sure, Marge. Um, devotees of the Supreme Lord experience both happiness and distress, not as consequences of material work, but as incidental eff effects of the loving reciprocation with the Lord. Srila Rupa Goswami in Sri Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, his definitive treatise on the process of devotional service explains how a Vaishnava is relieved of all karmic reactions, including those that have not yet begun to manifest, atarabda, those that are just about to manifest, kuta, those that are barely manifesting, bija, and those that have manifested fully, prarabda, as a lotus gradually loses its many petals. So a person who takes shelter of devotional service has all his karmic reactions destroyed. That devotional service to Lord Krishna eradicates all karmic reactions, is confined, is confirmed in this passage of the Gopalatapani Shruti. Bhaktir Asya Bhajanam Sa Ihamu Ihamu Tropabdi musmin mana kalpana etad eva naishkarmyam. Devotional service is the process of worshiping the Supreme Lord. It consists of fixing the mind upon Him by becoming disinterested in all material designations, both in this life and the next. It results in the dissolution of all karma. While it is certainly true, that those who practice devotional service remain in material body and apparently material situations for some time, this is simply an expression of the inconceivable mercy of the Lord, who bestows the fruits of devotion only when it has become pure. In every stage of devotion, however, the Lord watches over his devotee and sees to the gradual elimination of his karma. Thus, despite the fact that the happiness and distress devotees experience resemble ordinary karmic reactions. They are in fact given by the Lord himself. As a Bhagavatam 10.87.40 states, Bhavat Utta Subhashubhayo, a mature devotee recognizes the superficially good and bad conditions he encounters as signs of the direct guidance of his ever well-wishing Lord. But if the Lord is so compassionate to his devotees, why does he expose them to special suffering? This is answered by an analogy. A very affectionate father takes the responsibility of restricting his children's play and making them go to school. 
He knows that this is a genuine expression of his love for them, even if the children fail to understand. Similarly, the Supreme Lord Vishnu is mercifully strict with all his dependents, not only with immature devotees struggling to perfect to become qualified. Even perfect saints like Prahlad, Dhruva, and Yudhishthir were subjected to great tribulations, all for their glorification. After the battle of Kurukshetra, Sri Brih Sri Bhishma Dev described to King Yudhisthira his, his wonder at this. Yatra Dharma Sato Raja Gada Panir Vriko Dara Krishna Sri Gandhi Gandhi Vam Chapam Sushri Krishna Sato Vipar Nahasya Harhikit Rajan Kumam Veti Vidishritam Yat Vigyanasya Yukta Muyanti Kavyo Piti. So, how wonderful is the influence of inevitable time. It is re irreversible. Otherwise, how can there be reverses in the presence of King Yudhisthira, the son of the demigod controlling religion? Bhima, the great fighter with a club, the great bowman, bowman Arjuna with his mighty weapon Gandiva, and above all, the Lord, the direct well-wisher of the Pandavas. O King, no one can know the plan of the Lord Sri Krishna. Even though great philosophers inquire exhaustively, they are bewildered. Although Vaishnava's happiness and distress are felt as pleasure and pain, just like ordinary karmic reactions, they are different in a significant sense. Material happiness and distress arising from karma leave a subtle residue, the seed of future entanglement. Such enjoyment and suffering tend toward degradation and increase the danger of falling into hellish oblivion. Happiness mm -hmm. and distress generated from the Supreme Lord's desire, however, leave no trace after their immediate purpose has been served. Moreover, the Vaishnava who enjoys such reciprocation with the Lord is in no danger of falling down into nations. As Yamaraj, the Lord of Death and the Judge of all departed souls, declares, Jiva na vakti bhagavad guna namadheyam, shetas chana smarati tat charanaravindam, krishnaya no namati yat kira ekadapi, tan anya vadyam asato krita vishnu kritan. My dear servants, please bring to me only those sinful persons who do not use their tongues to chant the holy name and qualities of Krishna, whose hearts do not remember the lotus feet of Krishna even once, and whose heads do not bow down even once before Lord Krishna. Send me those who do not perform their duties towards Vishnu, which are the only duties in human life. Please bring all such fools and rascals. Wow. <laughs> This is amazing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry but I had to just smile about that. I apologize, Maharaj. No, that's that's Yamaraj. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the beloved devotees of the Lord do not regard as very troublesome the suffering he imposes on them. Indeed, they find that in the end it gives rise to just as a stinging ointment applied by a physician cures by a physician cures his patient's infected eye. In addition, suffering helps protect the confidentiality of devotional service by discouraging mm -hmm. intrusions by the faithless. And it also increases the eagerness with which the devotees call upon the Lord to appear. If the devotees of Lord Vishnu were complacently happy all the time, he would never have a reason to appear in this world as Krishna, mm -hmm. Ramachandra, Nasringa, and so on. As Krishna himself says in Bhagavad Gita 4.8, Paritranaye sadunam vinashaye cha dushkritam dharma samsta panarthaya sambhavam, sambhavami yuge yuge. To deliver the pious and annihilate the miscreants, as well as to reestablish the principles of religion, I myself appear millennium after millennium, 
And without the Lord showing himself on earth in his original form of Krishna, and in the forms of various incarnations, his faithful servants in this world would have no opportunity to, no opportunity to enjoy his Rasa Leela and other pastimes. Shila Vishwana Chakravarti here encounters the possible objection. What fault would there be in God's, re, uh, God's incarnating for some other reason other than to deliver saintly persons from suffering? The learned Acharya responds, yes, my dear brother, this made good sense, but you are not expert in understanding spiritual moods. Please listen. It is at night that the sunrise becomes attractive during the hot summer that cold water gives comfort and during the cold winter months that warm water is pleasing. Lamb light appears attractive in darkness, not in the glaring light of day. And when one is distressed by hunger, food tastes especially good. In other words, to strengthen his devotee's mood of dependence on him and longing for him, the Lord arranges for his devotees to go through some suffering. And when he appears in order to deliver them, the gratitude and transcendental pleasure are boundless. Wow. There's a lot there. <laughs> the one yes. thing I, I like, it, and if you go, go, go up the page just a little bit, just a little bit, go up the page. One thing I wanted to comment on here, uh, let's see, oh no, you went too far. <laughs> it's just a little bit, you just had to move one or two paragraphs from the bottom. Oh, from, from, from the bottom, okay. Uh, yeah. And it says, suffering helps protect the confidential confidentiality of devotional of the service by discouraging intrusion by the faithless. It also increases the eagerness with which the devotees call upon the Lord to appear. So these are all of the benefits that suffering brings. So the faithless, they think, oh, well, if, I, if I'm going to undergo some difficulty, why should I worship the Lord? They have no faith. And they don't understand the goal of, of devotional service is to go back to the spiritual world and live eternally in transcendental knowledge with unlimited happiness. Yeah, that's a good point. And so there's a lot there. I mean, that I think this whole verse and purport answers all the questions that we got today. <laughs> that's a very powerful purport, Maharaj. Yes. Yeah. Any other questions from devotees? Prabhupada, yes, Prabhupada loved this verse. He said he, uh, he would always attribute this verse to his own personal experience how Krishna took everything away from him. Marsh, I have a question, Marsh, and it's about this verse, you know, where, um, which I remember seeing that the next of, um, of devotion, uh, where it says, you know, um, how a Vaishnava is relieved from all karmic reactions, whether it uh, had not manifested, about to manifest, barely manifesting, and fully manifesting. And sometimes, Marge, when we go through struggles in life, you know, when, um, you know, when Krishna takes away stuff, or when things come on hold, or when things doesn't manifest, and when we are over-endeavoring, like we talked about in class on Sunday, how do we know, Marge, that it's one of these four? Oh, uh, it's not always easy. What is happening in, in, in front of you is your parabdha karma. Uh, the spiritual, the power of your spiritual, uh, the, your execution of devotional service, that power destroys aparabdha karma, kunta, kuti, and bija. But it doesn't destroy 
Rabda karma. Rabda karma is what Krishna allows you to see so you can deal with it and overcome it consciously. So a lot, a lot of the apparent difficulties we have is simply the Prabhupada karma that is manifesting. And so we can face it, understand it, uh, eliminate it. Thank you, Marge. That helps a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bhakti Tirta Swami would always speak a lot about Prabhupada karma. You listen to his lectures, he was always talking about Parabdha Karma. Are there other questions from devotees? Any clarification? Um, everybody seems to be a little quiet today. <laughs> okay. Um, Marge, would you like to um, end with a round of chanting, Marge? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we can do that. Okay, let me just get my Japa beads and I'll be right back. Yes, Marge. Uh, before I end, before we begin, is, uh, is Srimati online today? Yes, Mara, she is. I see her here. Mara Krishna Gurmaraj, please accept my humble obeisance. I'm going to share for five. Yes, so tomorrow is Govardhan Puja. Yes, Gurmaraj. And I am at Kidanagari right now and uh, so I'm gonna I was asked to give the class which is at 11 o'clock mm -hmm. the same time as our normal class time now it's, it's all it's also going to be live streamed okay very much. so um, if you can contact um, maybe Prem Kishori Yes, Kumash. Or the node who stays here, uh, Parijata, who is the, the wife of the temple president. Um, you can just find out what is that live stream link, and then devotees can tune yes, into the class tomorrow. Sure, Kumash. Yeah. I won't be doing it directly online. I'll be doing it in the temple as part of the, that program. Sure, good much. I'll contact them. Okay, thank you. If you have any thank trouble you. contacting, just let me know and I'll, I'll help you. Yes, good much. Sure. Thank you, good much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Jai Sri Krishna, Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Gadadara, Srivasadi, Gaur, Bhaktivinda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hare Krishna, Hari Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari.
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare. Hari Hari Hare Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Hare Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Krishna Hare Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Hari Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari Hare Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Rama Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 
Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram Ram Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Ram Hare Ram Ram Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram Ram Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram. Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. 
So I'll see you in two weeks. I don't know where I'll be in two weeks, but I'll, I'll be somewhere. Oh, wonderful, Mars. Thank you so much, Mars. And we hope that we will get to see you soon before you leave. And uh, I'll be in Gideon today and tomorrow. And after that, Maharaj, will you be still hanging around, be in U.S. In, on the East Coast? Uh, I'm going to Pittsburgh for two two days, maybe New Vrindavan on Sunday, and then down to D.C. Uh, during the week. All right, Maharaj. And then Chicago. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Maharaj, and thank you so much to all the devotees for joining us. Wish you all a wonderful day and a, and a free um Govardhan Puja uh, wishes for tomorrow. Vancha Kapi Biascha Kripas in the Bevicha Patita Nam Pavanabio. Vaisna Bevio Namo Namahashila Prabhupad Ki His Holiness Chandra Mali Swami Ki. Thank you so much, Maharaj, and we look forward to seeing you soon, soon, soon. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Thank you.